So sh should India be caring about Vikram Buddhi? Is this a case of racism? It's also a story that raises questions about how far we can go with free speech on the internet. We'll be crossing over to uh, Mumbai where we're joined by uh, Vikram's father, Captain Subarao. Uh, Captain Subarao, this is obviously a very, very tough time for you campaigning for uh, a just trial for your son. Uh, let me ask you very, very clearly. Do you believe that your son posted those remarks against President Bush and the punishment he's getting is not proportionate or do you believe he did not even make those comments? He has not made any of those uh, postings. And not only that, it is uh, Secret Service people in January 2006 when they interrogated him, they themselves found that uh, uh, that Vikram is not involved with that. And on February 3rd, 2006, the Secret Service, United States Secret Service, made a formal report saying that Vikram Buddhi is not a threat to any of these Secret Service protectives. Having said that, how they have arrested him on 14th April, no new developments have taken place from January or February to April. So it appears to me that this entire case is malafide. And then the whole world is talking about internet messages. Whereas in the charge, they call indictment, there is not even a whisper about the internet messages. So therefore, when somebody keeps on saying about the freedom of speech, if only they have looked at it as internet messages, then all the internet messages are saying whoever is the author, no one knows till now who the author is. Okay, so you're suggesting that the case is entirely malafide. Let me take that to Asim Chabra, well-known journalist joining us from New York this evening. Asim, is this a case that is finding uh, resonance at all within the South Asian community there? And how is the case being perceived? Is Vikram seen as somebody who's been framed or is Vikram seen as somebody who went too far but is being uh, punished disproportionately? You know, I have to admit, uh, Barkha, the case really did not make much head headlines among the South Asian community here, which is, which is really unfortunate. Um, I would like to believe that justice is colorblind in this country, which is not so all the time. I would like to believe that judges are colorblind and jury is colorblind, which is, again doesn't happen all the time. So therefore, I mean... I, I do not think that he was tried any differently because he's an Indian. I hope that's not the case. The South Asian community has not woken up to this case and they probably should be much more concerned about it. But I think more than anything else, he needs a good legal team to advise him. And that's the unfortunate thing. And, you know, we're right near a sentencing time now because he's going to be sentenced in November, right? Chuba.com.